Hey, and welcome to our tutorial series on how to create a custom sound engine using Unity 5 and Super Collider. First, there are some programs you will need. If you don't already have them, you'll need Super Collider and Unity 5. We will put links in the description as well as walk you through a bit of those setups. Uh, hopefully you already have a little bit of experience with both of those. If not, uh, no worries, we'll uh, help you out. You'll also need to download some scripts from GitHub, which will allow you to send OSC data. The link for that will also be in the description. All right, let's get started. So what you want to do is go to Super Collider, open it up and download it. We already have Super Collider installed, so just follow the directions. If you don't already have Unity, then uh, go to Unity and download Unity 5. Once that's all downloaded, what you're going to want to do is create a new project. Name that Rogue, Roguelike, whatever you feel like naming it. And then from there, what you're going to want to do is uh, go to Window and then select the Asset Store. Once the asset store opens up in the search field, type in rogue and then find the 2D roguelike Unity project. That's what we'll be using for this tutorial. So go ahead and download the, uh, the 2D roguelike from the asset store and import that into the project that you created. Uh, save your project, it's important. And now we'll show you how to get the OSC scripts from GitHub. So go to the link that we put in the description. What you're going to want to do is download all the scripts that have anything to do with OSC. So download all these scripts just to have them. And we've already downloaded most of them, but uh, we'll show you how to put in uh, a couple of them. So the one we're going to do is the OSC handler. So you're going to want to go back to Unity and create a new C sharp script. So create a blank C sharp script and name that the same name as you're going to name all your other OSC scripts. And this is going to be the OSC handler. So you can uh, either download all the scripts like we showed earlier, or you can go and highlight everything uh, for each script here. So highlight everything in the OSC handler script, copy it. Then you want to go back to Unity, double click on the C-sharp script you just created for OSC handler, 
and that will open mono develop. Once that's open, make sure you're on the OSC handler script that you just created. And you can go and basically delete all of that stuff if you want. And what you want to do is paste uh, the script from the OSC handler script into this script here. So now you have the OSC handler script. And what you're going to want to do now is create a client to send your OSC data to SuperCollider. So you go to this function. This is a void init, which is basically initializing the OSC client. And here's where you are going to want to create a client. So go create client, paren, quotes, SuperCollider. This is going to be the name of our client, comma, IP address dot parse. And basically what you're doing here is creating an ad hoc network to your own computer. And then you're going to do port. And this is Super Collider's native port here, port 57120. Go ahead and close that off. Now you've created your client. And this is where you're going to use a uh, send message to Super Collider. And the message you are going to send is right here. This is the message that we'll be using. In the next video, we will show you how to set up where you use the client ID, the address, and values that you could put into your game. Thanks for watching.